If there is a race for global domination in artificial intelligence, this may well be the starting block for China. This is Hangzhou, a place rich in ancient history, now emerging as China's Silicon Valley, home to Alibaba and DeepSea, and coming into its own as one of the world's leading tech incubators. I think a good idea should fulfill the three criteria. It's something that you want to do, something you're really good at, and something the society needs. Zhang Jie is a tech entrepreneur and angel investor, backing companies here, creating hotel booking systems, intelligent coffee machines, and AI-enabled glasses. AI is not just for uh, professionals or like engineers or the geeky uh, guys to um, get their first-hand uh, AI benefit, but we want everyone to enjoy the AI area. Do you think it could have happened anywhere else? Not yeah, at the no. speed, though. Truth be told, there's never a thing as the uh, overnight success or overnight cessation. When we talk about the six dragons of Hangzhou, mm -hmm. each of them have been there for over 10 years. The Six Dragons is what people now call a cluster of elite startups here. China's rising stars in gaming, robotics, AI, and neurotech all working around the clock to beat Silicon Valley at its own game. The most prominent being DeepSeek, that little-known startup that upended the AI world in January with its low-cost chatbot. Even a company like DeepSeek is in a building with no sign of it. And there are more. Unitree Robotics is seen here as having the potential to do for China's robotics sector what DeepSeek did in AI. They make humanoid and quadruped robots like G1EDU that can dance to its own beat and pack a decent punch if that's what you want your humanoid to do. Robots are being trained in a whole range of tasks from search and rescue to working in laboratories to helping out with deliveries. Thank you. Xixia. The company figures within a year or two, their robots' brains will have the ability to think and make decisions. Is that scary or is it exciting? It's exciting because you still need to give a command. It's open source and people can, based on our uh, validated framework to do the second development, this means uh, we can push the ecosystem of the robotic industry faster. It's no secret the Trump administration views Chinese tech advances as a threat. The U.S. has put export controls on chips being sold to China. It's one of the major hurdles in the current trade war. Before Deep Seek's shock announcement this year, a lot of U.S. companies and policymakers had believed that China was at least a decade behind in AI innovation. A key part of the tech ecosystem here is Zhejiang University, known as Zhejda. There's also the proximity to stalwarts like Alibaba, as well as state subsidies. The government here, they have, I think, a very stable long-term strategy towards encouraging and helping young people uh, to become entrepreneurs. There have been bumps in the road, though, like the big regulatory crackdown on China's tech barons back in 2020, including Alibaba's Jack Ma, who all but vanished. Then, earlier this year, he appeared in vogue again at a tech forum with Xi Jinping and DeepSeek's founder, Liang Wangfang. That meeting was symbolic by showing that China's Communist Party is backing the tech sector again. The goal, to transform China's economy into an AI powerhouse. AI, based on the internet, there are two internet in the world. One is China internet. Another is the world internet. So the internet uh, ecosystem in China is totally different mm -hmm. from the world. Yet more than ever, Chinese technology firms are positioning themselves as international companies. And big or small, they're betting cheaper AI will spark more innovation. And that China's AI boom is only beginning. So how long have you worked here? Janice Mackey Freyer, NBC News, Hangzhou. We thank you for watching. And remember, stay updated on breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or watch live on our YouTube channel.